Hello everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to install Descent Horizons on Minecraft 1.20.4 I kept the FPS at, at 60 FPS um, just to get a smooth video playback for you guys but in the end I will show you how much FPS I'm getting with uh, RX 7600 for, from AMD and okay Let's begin. And this is a render distance of 160 um, with medium quality settings. I will show you a little bit later what the difference is between them. And and the CPU preset is on I paid for full CPU. <laughs> um, this is just going to help to speed up the world generation. Um, it will use all your CPU threads and cores so um, if you want to generate a world in the beginning you will need to turn that on to speed up the LED generation speed okay I will show you now how to install everything and I hope you enjoy this video do is go to irishshaders.dev there will you will download the download universal jar you will click on this and when it is done downloading you will see I already downloaded it before to test everything and when it is done downloading you can go to your downloads folder and then click on the iris installer and then it should open if it doesn't open you must make sure you have java installed and the next step is use descent horizons beta you will need to check this box to install descent horizons if you have the just the normal the default minecraft launcher you can just proceed here it will install it in the dot minecraft directory but now i'm going to show you how to install this you will just choose a folder on your desktop i already created a folder there's nothing nothing inside and then you will just choose the folder you want to ins just to add a mods and a shaders to and then you just click install then you can click complete it and then you close out of it and then you can go into the folder and then after you downloaded the mods to your folder you wanted to then you can open that folder i call it as the horizons then you can open the mods folder you will see all the required modes that is installed for 1.20.4 and if you go one back the shader pack that i recommend is plus shader um it is very it's a very cool shader um okay then you can copy the modes and the shader packs folder i am using it launcher um you can then go to the folder of the instance of the launcher that you are using then you can just you'll see there is the shader and then in mods there is nothing all you need to do is go to that instance then paste the files inside and then this mods will be inside and also the shader packs okay some mods that i would recommend to install is just make sure you have fabric api installed some of the mods i would recommend is to e it helps to speed up the world generation and Noisium is also a great mod to it replaces Minecraft world default world generation, but it is very more optimized. 
How can I? Then you can launch your incense. But before you do it, just make sure if you want a very large render distance, you must make sure you have allocated a little bit more than 8 gigabytes of RAM to this to the instance of Minecraft that you are on it. Okay, now we'll launch it and then I'll show you how to change some of the settings of distant horizons and I hope you enjoy this. I already pre-generated this world because it takes a little bit of time to let distant horizons generate everything. As you can see it is not very fast um, to load everything after it is generated but I think it is worth it. And this is a render distance of 160 with medium settings. Okay, okay. so what the LED settings is is the fall off distance that distant horizons uses for chunk generation. As you can see here, the level of detail in the chunks farther from you is a lot less. As you can see there, everything is not very detailed and the higher you go up with the settings um, I'm going to use minimum now the more RAM you will also use and the stronger system you will need to run everything as you can see now the level of detail in the, in the chunks farther from me is higher and then the generation is also a little bit slower but I would recommend if you can to run it on high. Um, this one it looks much better. Um, it's still the same in the nearby chunks, but um, the farther chunks also now have the same level of detail. So, yes, as you can see, the generation is now much slower, but you must remember it is. 160 chunks around me that is generating so it is very cool um i will now enable shader plus shaders and then you'll see well why it is so amazing to use this horizons on minecraft now as you can see my FPS isn't very good now, um, <laughs> I get about 30 FPS, but even without shaders, Descent Horizons is still amazing. And yes, I'm very glad the author of, the, of this mod is still updating it. And I really hope it gets out of beta someday, someday. Yes. So this is how to install this Horizons on Minecraft 1.20.4. Okay, and now this is the part where I'll show you how much FPS I'm getting. I'm getting about 550. 560 FPS with uh, RX 7600 on Minecraft 1.20.4 with distant horizons on a render distance of 100. Okay, and I really hope you enjoy this video. Have a great day and bye.